one thing that you should not espouse or embrace is miserable life. For whatever reason, you should not embrace a miserable life. If you do, that consciousness will stay with you and then you'll create that. Being a party animal is not bad at all, but you should not lose your consciousness. That's the most important thing. So what gives you happiness being on this earth plane is partying. That's why people party all the time. Happiness is not all that bad. It's, it's, it's a way of happiness. Happiness is not... If you deprive your senses, life will be so miserable. That's why Buddhism died in India. Because the Buddha said, just sit down and count your breath. And if you miss your breath, then you have to start all over again. Then again you count your breath. I don't know how the people in Google and other places, they do the mindfulness technique. There are easier way, ways of getting rid of your misery. I like Oprah Winfrey. She said her goal was to make like money according to her age. When she becomes 35, she will make $35,000 only. That's where he started. So when I become, when I become 40, I will be. $40,000. I will make $40,000. But today she has $4 billion or more. But she started asking, looking at the poor people who are wealthy, what are they doing which I am not doing? And then the whole process started. So what I am going to do is to get rid of, help you to get rid of the consciousness that created this reality. The consciousness that created a reality, somehow, for whatever reason, either you liked being poor or being mediocre, and that consciousness survives life after life after life, until you stop it. The whole the world, you know, there are rich people, poor people, and middle class people, all of them are here. Where you want to be is your choice. And depending upon the choice, you are born in a Bel Air or, or Beverly Hills or born in a slum in India or China or any other place. That is the soul's choice. Even at the time of birth, even at the time of birth, you decide where to be born. I want everybody to have that kind of consciousness to evolve to that level. First thing you have to do is you have to get rid of whatever karma you have. Karma is a thought process. If somehow we can take all the thoughts from your brain, there will be no thoughts, then there will be no life. What gives you orientation to life are the thoughts. That is the teaching of the Buddha. The Buddha said there is no life, there is no soul, no God. But the thoughts are there. And you have to burn all these thoughts and then become free. That's why his concept is called emptiness. All that you have to do is to completely empty your mind. We create health. We create disease. How do we get rid of that? The brain. In the morning I said that we have to block these thoughts coming into the brain. We have to keep blocking it, keep blocking it, keep blocking it.